The Irenaeus stands as one of the initial proto mech designs by Clan Jade Falcon, inheriting knowledge from the now extinct Clan Smoke Jaguar's scientific records. Regrettably, it was not met with favor by Carl Martha Pride and failed to perform effectively in test raids against the Lyran Alliance, leading to the termination of a program in 3064. The problem with the Irenaeus was simple it was just a proof of concept design intended to show that the Protomac program could work. Unfortunately, the slow speed, light armor and paltry weapon system doomed the Arrhenius to failure. Despite the official shutdown of the program, rumors circulated in the periphery about the scientists' cast clandestinely maintaining the project to refine it further. An enigmatic incident in 3072 involved attacks on Somerset and Winfield and intensified the mysteries surrounding the Arrhenius. During these assaults, enemy forces were equipped with light protomax, including an upgraded Arrhenius variant. This prompted speculations among Loki agents that the Falcons were bewildered about the identity of the assailants, and it was often theorized that there was a connection to the Dark Caste. The clan remains notable silent concerning these attacks across the occupation zone between 3072 and 3074. Originally modeled after the Smoke Jaguar's Harpy, the Arrhenius closely resembles a marginally improved and heavier clan battle armor. Its armament consists of a single SRM-1 launcher mounted on the torso, supported by a small ammo bay containing just 5 rounds. This meager firepower makes it ill-suited for substantial combat, in stark contrast to the Falcon's preference for high-impact rapid response units. Guard duty and riot control were the only suitable roles for the protomech. The best option for pilots of the standard Arrhenius in real combat would be to use ambush tactics. Loading the SRM launcher with an alternate ammunition type may help as well. After the original program's failure, the majority of Arrhenius units were redistributed to various border worlds in the periphery, together with their pilots. This reorganization left the Falcon's core world worlds guarded by Solama and Protomech forces, inadvertently leaving them vulnerable to Clan Ice Helian's swift incursion along the periphery border during the Fury campaign. But notably, during the initial Bow Norman assault, the Hellions suffered significant losses, including almost the full 200th attack cluster due to the intentive tactics employed by the Falcon's 11 PGC. With several of the element's trineries having been transferred to Beta and Gamma galaxies and replaced with several trineries of Protomax, mostly Arrhenius, the Falcons used their heavy woods and canyons to stage multiple ambushes as the Helians attempted to secure the planet after breaking Zellbringing in the first week of combat. Without restrictions, Star Colonel Vickers Helma used the narrow terrain to his advantage. Operating in formations of at least a star in size, the Irenius navigated the heavy woodland around the Hellions' command post and sniped enemy units as they were returning from extended patrols. The Protomax concentrated their fire on one target, often crippling it within a few salvos. Fading back into the underbush, the Irenius could make a clean escape using paths that were too restricting to the Hellion Battlemax. Given that the Falcons have been known to withhold Zalbringen when fighting Inosphere forces, this use of the Arrhenius should not be ignored. Notable Pilot Star Captain Kandari Falcon Leading the harassment operations against the Hellions on Bow Norman, Star Captain Kandari commanded a star that nearly defeated Ice Hellion Sarkhan Connor Rod and his Kit Fox Battlemech. After firing every available missile into the Sarkon, the Star converged on the mech and engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Protomex failed only due to the Sarkon's ammunition exploding, which blew the Star Captain clear away from the Khan's crippled mech. Variants Following the program's cancellation in 3064, two new Arrhenius variants emerged. Pilots were given the option of using the original design or a newer one. The Arrhenius II was the first product of Falcon scientists gaining full, unmonitored control of the Protomech program. This variant 
introduced in 3064, replaced the original's engine and SRM launcher with a slightly larger engine and an ER micro laser, all bite at the cost of reduced armor. This variant was rarely used due to its inadequate protection. Arrhenius III. The final variant, emerging with a society rebellion in 3072. It is believed to be a derivative of Arrhenius II. This variant employs the same larger engine, but enhances leg armor protection and incorporates a light machine gun. This additional armor kept the Potomac functional in the destructive city fighting on Sudeten, Blackjack and Somerset. The Arrhenius, developed as a proof of concept, struggled to find its place in Clan Jade Falcon's arsenal. With limited speed, light armor and modest firepower, it failed to align with the clan's preferred combat strategies. These two-ton Protomex, although challenging to enhance, offered some potential for ambush tactics, especially in engagements with massed infantry. Nonetheless, their viability remained considerably lower than battle armor or heavier Protomex.